hi everyone welcome back and in previous video we discussed about async task now in this video we are going to discuss about async gather and async timeout let's see what are the point we are going to discuss in this video so we'll start from previous code which we have created for async task and then we'll add one logic to print total execution time then we'll add one more function to print xyz and uh, then we'll execute this code and see what is the gap in uh, async task and using async gather how we can increase its performance finally we'll talk about timeout this code we discussed in previous video now let's add the time logic so that we can see the total execution time so start time equal to time dot time and uh, then once this program execution complete that time again we are going to calculate the time and see the difference so i will create one string here and say total execution and this will be time dot time minus start time this will give us the difference and uh, we'll get to know how much time it took let's save this one now here we have to import this time module also so let's import it now what we are going to do is here in this function which is print 1 to 3 we are just printing 1 and 2 so let me add one more uh, here and this will be print 3 now along with this let's uh, create new function let me just copy this one and I will paste it here and then I will just change the name from print 1 to 3 to xyz and here we are going to print x, y and g so let's change all this value now this new function we are going to call after print 1 to 3 so here again i have to give await and then uh, it will be print xyz let's save this one uh, this sleep time also i'm going to change the reason is so that we can see when this program is waiting for uh, next execution so let's change all this value from one to two let's save this one now i'm going to execute this code and here you can see at a time it's executing two of them right 1a 2b like that and uh, this this took around eight seconds to complete now let's try to understand this execution so it is starting from one and that's like print one two three this function is going and printing one let me minimize this one so printing one then we have one sleep here which is async io uh, sleep so again command is going back to the main function and at that time it's calling this task and this task is printing a but again this task is also going on sleep so so this command is going back to the main again and it's waiting for the next function which is still like we are executing 1 2 3 so it will print 2 and uh, logically it should have called uh, i mean i'm just thinking like if it is asynchronous then it should have called xyz right but that's not the case so first it will complete uh, 1 2 3 once this function is getting completed then it is going to the next one and then you can see here it call xyz and just printing x here and when this function is going for sleep so at that time it's again calling this task and uh, it's printing c there here c is the only left one and that way this print abc also getting completed and what we left with this uh, function which is print xyz so it's printing y then it's going for going to print the g and finally it's it's printing e, e and g at last right so 
that's the logic what we have here so so at a time it's just printing uh, two of them now let's see how async gather is going to help so i'm going to comment these lines and uh, then here i will write await then async io dot gather and uh, here i will pass all these functions so i'm first printing one two three so i'll uh, call this uh, coroutine then i will call the next coroutine that is uh, print x y z and uh, we have print abc this one also i'm going to pass here now with these changes let's save this one and we are going to execute this code and this time you can see it's calling three at a time right and this program completed in four seconds which is a like better performance than previous one now here if you see each of these functions are taking uh, four seconds right but in case if you know like uh, this if, if it is taking more than four seconds then maybe there is something wrong in this function and in that case i just wanted to uh, this error out my program so for that i have to use timeout so i'll call async io then wait for and here i will uh, pass this uh, coroutine along with that i will pass uh, what time we can wait so actually here it is taking two plus two four seconds so uh, within five seconds it should complete right so let's save this code and i'm going to re-execute this one this time it will work fine because already this is within the time interval right now let's increase this time to um, maybe four second better so now this is four plus two six seconds it will take and uh, here i'm waiting for five seconds so when i will execute this code now it should error out i should get some exception and you can see i'm getting timeout error and uh, so thanks for watching